right, this is the second part of putting the silicone onto uh, the daughter mold, which is the roof, which is the silicone. So remember, you got to have soapy water. Mine's a little bubbly, which isn't the best. I don't want to get introduce any air into my uh, my mold. And here we go. So I did grease the horn a little bit because the silicone got stuck to it since it's a little fibrous. So um, if there's anything with deep fiber, you might want to just brush a little bit of petroleum jelly on it. This is an optimal to have my hands sudsing. Remember, hit the trigger back so the silicone doesn't keep coming out. Make sure both your hands have soapy water. And just keep applying, pressing down the piece as you go along. Trying to match your, uh, your seams. I put a little bit of grease on, uh, some petroleum jelly on the other side of that silicone. On the other piece I made, I had a little bit of sticking problem. One other thing you can do, which I'm not doing, is uh, embed a layer of cheesecloth in here. And that'll give the silicone moss tensile strength, or else this stuff tears pretty easy. So if you don't do that, you gotta be very gentle if the silicone is thin. The thinner it is, easier it tears. So get some cheesecloth, open it completely up, get one layer of mesh, and uh, when you get it all put down, embed it. Maybe another layer of silicone over the top of that, if need be. That's it, doesn't take much. This is the poor man's mold. So you don't have to buy expensive products to make a mold. You just go to the hardware store, some plaster of Paris, some silicone, 100% clear, silicone is what you want so you can see any air bubbles. And just keep pushing it down the mold. Not too bad. You'll notice this plug down here. That's so I don't get an air trap down here. So when it flows, when I pour a product in here and it flows through, I put a plug and that'll stop it, but I'll get all the air flushed out or you could end up with a losing the end of uh, your piece. So make sure you put an air vent. Okay, I'm just gonna thicken this up a little bit and get a little piece of plaster in there, but I'm not gonna worry about it. I'll just use this whole container up, thicken up the mold in certain places, especially around the edges where there's probably a lot more pulling going on. You can see it's a little thin here and there, so make sure you pat that in so it mixes. You don't want to have separate layers or it'll just pull itself apart. So you got to make sure you blend the silicone into each other. Soapy hands, or any thin spots. Make sure it blends. See how I tap it into itself? Remember, you got to work at a certain rate because it will get a skin. Our TV is room temperature vulcanization. That's how it works. This is tin-based. This material, platinum base, is for food or body casting. And the price goes way up for the platinum. About it. In the next video, we'll put the other mother mold on, which is the plaster mold. Soft mold is the daughter mold, and the hard mold is the mother mold that keeps the daughter in place. Alrighty. 
that's looking pretty good right there. All right, see you in the next one.